I've been called to this, it's a leak in the bathroom. So this is what I do to work this out. So if we come down here, you can see you've got lots of pooled up water, lots of it. So first thing I'm going to do is see where I think it's coming from. Typically it comes from showers, valves, outlets. And in this case, it's made its way all the way down here, all the way down to the other end wall. So in theory, you would think it was here, but this is what I do. So the sign at the moment shows that there's water here. There's no stains there. Grout lines are dry. Tiny bit of dampness there, possibly. Nothing here, surprising. Nothing over here. So, typically, I use a camera inspection. This is what I do. This is a Bosch one. There's the flush pipe. Quite often, it's the flush pipe. So, I'm trying to find the back of the flush pipe now. It's not particularly easy. I can see there some droplets of water. I can see I've prepared for this. Okay, so, two things. Okay, so hopefully I'll press this button. Let's go to work. You see the water? Okay. I would expect all of this to be wet but it's not most of it showing over there so somehow it's moving from there all the way around there it's made its way around there my initial idea was to cut a hole there because this has got a trap underneath it and it could be anything from behind there it still could be but in in this case I'm going to cut that tile out there's no point in me taking the toilet out because I still need to put this back so I reinstate it so I'm going to cut that tile out. It's a joy of a Leatherman. Oh god, that doesn't look very good straight away does it? Or at least we've saved the tile. God this is all soaked. So I'll just cut through here. Quite a few Bosch tools here today. It's only been up about five or six years. And clearly... You think that's acceptable? insulation buffs that concrete time and time again that screed sorry and it keeps filling back up with water so it's completely saturated this is going to take a dehumidifier and a load of work flush the toilet It's blown up. And now I'm going to take it out. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to come out of there, does it? Somebody's cleverly messed that up for us. Okay, so standard issue. Somebody's just capped these off. No screws, so it'll just be it off and hope like it's not too stuck there. Yeah. So this toilet is solid to the floor, so I'm gonna just see what the fuck 
Oh, this, that's the filter thing that's normally at the top of here. Nice. Somebody else's crap. So something shot out of there, clearly. What a mess. Thing is, how to get it out. Because this is solid, I mean really solid. Okay, so now you can see just how far I've so I had to cut the top section. The toilet won't move. It's solid, and I mean it's solid. It's almost like somebody's bonded it with some special stuff or they've cemented it to the floor. Now this has got underfloor heating in it, so not exactly sure. Now you can begin to see the extent of the mess that's going on. Lovely, eh? So the idea is we'll take all of this out. Says he. Mm. Even the electrics. Not great. So now we can take the sand and flow out, replace somehow, or check it at the very least and see what's going on. Much shit is flowing about. I'm guessing it's all inside. So cut this section here. You'll never see it when it sits across here because it's below this. The reason being is so that I can get this out because then I can check and also you can maintain that for the future. All we've got to do is clear up all of that mess, undo that fixture there and replace that. So now's the moment you've all been waiting for. Lift this piece of shit out of here. Oh, and it's already coming off. The moment you've all been waiting for. Sanifly. If anyone left this file down here, that's for you. And otherwise, we've got a pretty clean space. Yeah, got cleaner tidier, vacuumed it all out, ready for the new one to go in. Because of the nature of this, with all the dirt on it, I'm not going to film it because it's too tight a space, so uh, I'll show it once it's installed. Right, so we've got it all plumbed in, so if you take a look here, you can see I had to cut out a little bit of stuff, and we've got that one plumbed in over there. We've got a temporary power in, sorry, we've got power in, and I've got those fittings all on there. Um, they show a tie strap for the one going on to the Santa Flow and a Jubilee onto the other. So they're all secure. Let's see what happens. Just in case. Might have some dinner now without washing my hands clearly. It's a lot quieter. I'll just check for leaks. Make sure nothing untoward. Do the last bits, put the system in. Right, so we just turn the water back on. This is why we test everything because I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't push this fully into here and there was a tiny weep, so let's try it again. Push that far enough in. There's a tiny wheat there and I noticed it. So good job. You know, this is what I say you have to test. You have to test, make sure everything's okay. So anyway, I'm happy with that now. Tidy this up. Carpenter's gonna come make a T section, so that'll be symmetrical over there, so it'll go like that on both sides. And it'll follow this line here. That's why I cut it there on that draw line. So that's us. Pleased with that. That's it, done. Glow worm. Let's give this a hoover out first of all. String. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
We've got a seal that goes there. Clearly this has been leaking in the past. Probably from that seal or from this trap. So we'll have a quick look at the trap. Check the seal from behind. The seal's dry. Let's check up there. <coughs> Nothing on the back which shows that. That's fine. Okay, so we really need to get that out. Okay, so this is the end bit and I'll show you the rest in a second when I actually lift this whole thing out. So, one side, now we just need to do the other. There's a wheel, there's a way. The second side, we lift that out. Right, so... Mm. It's so full, isn't it? Yeah. Just do it outside things. You can see here. So clearly, that's been stuck, hasn't it? You can see there. Look at it. Yeah. Never been cleaned, has it? This is why you get proper service done. <laughs> Completely jammed. It's completely blocked. Yeah, I'm really serviced. What a load of shit. Imagine it's gonna come out like that. Well, it's working better now, isn't it? It's not gonna overflow. Let's put this back together. Well, Ross, well, thank you very much for your time and everything. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I can 100% say that no one's ever cleaned that out. I know why, because it's such a pain in the backside of a job. I'm a glutton for punishment. I've got a national sport now just going to boilers and turning them off and saying that you need a new one. And I said, well, I'm breaking the trend, aren't I? Blimey. What a faff this is turning into. Um, customers are nice. And, you know, it's nice to try and help out. There you go, that's in. Push that seal under. Just need the other one. Probably wouldn't have half of this problem if somebody had actually <laughs> serviced it properly. But what the hell do I know? I just work here. That's a really irritating one to get in, I can tell you that now. Don't give up. Just don't give up. Even when the screw is being a pain in the backside. Such a good feeling when you overcome it. Okay, so this has got to go back in. This silly little thing. Make sure there's no water in it or anything. So that's fine. There's a little instruction on the front of it, so just drop that in. I never really like doing these, but you have to do them. So that's you on. And now you can say you've done a proper job. Clip here. So this goes in there, which is a nice new one, unlike the old one. This goes in there. I actually feel like I'm progressing now. Woohoo! Journey starts with a footstep. Pop this on there, push that through there. Bit of a push and a twist. That's in. Twist that round. Okay, so connection to... 
we need a gas valve. Well, this is beginning to take shape. Pleased, very pleased. It is. Uh, that's, dare I say it, that's why I like it so much. 10,000 piece jigsaw, I'm afraid. That's a bit too much. This would, and this was madness. I mean, honestly, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, why would you start on that? 10,000 for a four-year-old is a bit much. Well, yeah, I think it's a bit much for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> if we did a 10,000 piece jigsaw, that would be pretty good. Mm. In Russian. Bloody hell. And, uh, but he lives in Canada. That's not his fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> because it's worse if your kids don't do well and you're always forever one. Okay, so to some of you, you may see that. Just gonna do this. Just give us a little, little squeeze just to make it a bit tighter. A bit more tension on that myself. That's a bit better. That's it. That's the internals done. Turn the gas on. Like that. And like that. Ah. It I'm just going to wait for it to stop doing it and then try it again. Things here and dripped off there. So it seems to do that and then it settles down. Yeah. Now hopefully. This is where you keep your fingers crossed, by the way. <coughs> we can only but try. Exactly. Exactly. Temperatures on, keep it a minute. Okay, so it's failed to ignore it. Either we've got no gas or the board is playing up. Okay, so I can see ignition, so I must have no gas. Sparking 24 volts. That's your hold. <coughs> well, just because I'm the way I am, one bit there looks red hot, one bit there looks dry jointed. One there. So that looks definitely dodgy that one there. I wouldn't know what I was looking at. You know, you take everything out really carefully. That goes down there. Yeah. yeah. But life well, became a bit easier. And I thought, right, let's do something else. So Pop the fuse back in. One of those. Keep my fingers away. And I'll put a screwdriver on it. Da da da. Then pop down, push in, push in, and keep your fingers crossed. Uh, turn the ball on. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Okay, circulation, fan running properly, bingo. Looks good. Dun, dun, it sounds dun, dun. good. It sounds good. Well done, young man. I can say young man because I'm older than you. There's nothing like a bit of success Saturday morning. But what should customer. that be? What should that be? Should that be 30? It should be up that's to that. That's the temperature at this moment in time. But it will go up. It will slowly creep. So that sounds just... better now. 
It does Don't sound know. better, doesn't it? You know why? Because it's had a proper service. Yeah. You can see a nice flame through there right, as well. Yeah, a good flame through yeah. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clever man you are. Thank you. No, I just persevere. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're going to have some heating and hot water now. You've got everything there. PCB there that's got a year's warranty on it. Also got a fan, year's warranty on it. Okay. The fan has blown out the circuit board. That's what happened. The fan went and it's knocked out and that's why you had no display there. Oh, I'm, I'm really grateful. Really, really grateful. Now I've got to know, is it a six-figure sum? Nah, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs>